So I'm planning to make a strawberry cheesecake. And part of that is I need to make a strawberry glaze. This glaze can be used on cheesecake. It can be used over ice cream. It can be used with any dessert. Chocolate, right? It's sweet. It's a little bit tangy from a lemon. And it's absolutely fantastic. So join me as we make strawberry glaze. So I have a small saucepan here and I haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to go ahead and put, I have two heaping cups of frozen strawberries. <laughs> and I also have a half a cup of sugar. And we're going to turn this on over medium heat. So this is going to start melting down. The sugar is going to get liquidy. The uh, strawberries are going to start breaking down. Once it gets to a simmer, like a little tiny bubble simmer, we're going to let it simmer for probably 10 minutes or so. And then um, we will be uh, putting in a slurry and some lemon juice. So we'll be right back. Okay, so it's at a simmer. So we're going to let this simmer like this 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you just want to simmer it where these strawberries are going to start breaking down. We're ultimately going to be blending this with an immersion blender to smooth it out. But we want to get these strawberries nice and tender and breaking down. So we'll, we'll be right back. So the strawberries are starting to soften. It smells fantastic. It smells like strawberries. So I have a half a lemon. I'm going to put some fresh lemon juice in here just to give it that tang to brighten the flavor. It's so good with the strawberry. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have a quarter cup of water. I'm going to put a tablespoon of cornstarch. This is going to be our thickener and we're just going to dissolve that in the water. You want to dissolve it first before you put it in your um, glaze because it could get lumpy. So you want to make sure it's completely dissolved. We're going to go ahead and pour that in. This is going to be our thickener. Now cornstarch doesn't start thickening until it reaches a boil. So once it does, we're going to give it a little whirl with our immersion blender. And it's thickening up really quickly. So because I kind of want, I don't want this super thick because I'm going to be using it um, on top of a cheesecake. I want it kind of pourable. Um, let's see how far we're going to get here. And I'm going to turn it down and we have our uh, immersion blender here. This is actually a Breville. I'll put a link down in the description to this. And we're just going to blend this here, break down those strawberries. Oh, yeah. Woo! Wow, it looks fantastic. blend it till it's all nice and broken down. Wow. Looks great. So this glaze looks fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it into a little bowl here. Wow. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. stuff will gel up like if you put it in the refrigerator it'll gel up like, um, like jam. so here is our beautiful strawberry glaze um, I left it this consistency because I'm gonna be using it on a cheesecake you can cook it a little further and firm it up 
or you can even put a little bit more cornstarch slurry in there to make it as firm as you want to. It will thicken as it cools. And I think by the time it cools, it's going to be perfect. We are going to drizzle this on top of a New York cheesecake. And we're going to top it with these chopped strawberries. If you're going to use this with ice cream or something, you can take these chopped strawberries and just put it directly on there and use it with your dessert. The way I'm going to do it is drizzle it on the cheesecake, sprinkle it with the strawberries. It's going to be fantastic. So let's take a little, little taste here. Mm. It's so good. It is so good. It's sort of like, tastes like liquid jam or something. But it tastes so fresh. Um, it, yeah, it, it has a, like a lot fresher taste with a fresh lemon. Mm, it's delicious. So stay tuned, we are gonna be making a cheesecake with strawberry. You're gonna love it. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Leave me a comment and a like, and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can also catch me on social media at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. Also on Facebook, my group is facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. And on Instagram, I'm at cooking with Amy. Mm. So good. <laughs>